Don't. Right here. Last thing we're doing today. Up, in, out, in. Up, in, out, in. Up, in, out, in. Up, in, out, in. Up, in, out. Yes, you already used it. Oh, I did. I did say it's gonna be a helper. Roll it. I know. Oh man, Saji, you got to be careful. Saji, baby. Now it's real bowling. It's real bowling! Did you see that damn so dead in the yard? Yes, baby. That's the leader. And he died not the yard. They're his followers. Let's do this. Do it! Anna, go ahead. <laughs> nice. about the number 17 when she's working out with her she bad fitness crew this is the 17th day that she's worked out so we're gonna pop some bubbly tonight and celebrate her nothing but the most expensive for my wife thank you god for this food allowed to be nourishment for our bodies in jesus name amen <laughs> Baby, you are in my special oh place. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. my peace. Oh. Which you have always been. Always will be love. I love this stuff. I do like this. This is sparkling juice. <laughs> yes. It's time to practice with Sharif. Papa. 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 <laughs> All right. 
Who are you going to be tomorrow? President Barack Obama. Okay, so we need to practice, right? Right! Let's do this. Okay. Stand right there, Sharif. Thank you. Okay. All right. Hi. My name is President Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. I am the 44th president. Uh -uh. Oh no. You're not speaking with conviction. And you're not using your body. Use that body. Hi. My name is President Barack Obama. I am the 44th president. When were you born? I was born August 4th. I was born August 4th. 1961. 1961. Here are three facts. Here are three facts about me. I am 45. <laughs> I won the Nobel Peace Prize. Peace Prize. Pe Peace <coughs> Prize. For strengthening <coughs> diplomacy. 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 Number two, I am the first African American president. I like that. Black power, dog. Keep it in the hood. I designed the Nobel. No, I designed the affordable. The affordable health care. And put it in place. Now end it. Thank you for coming. God bless you. God and bless you. And God bless. And God bless America. Okay, sister. Here we go. I need you to be a little more together. A lot more together. This, right here. That's what Obama does, right I there. I President Barack Obama. Remember, what did mom tell you? Whenever you say I, what do you do? Right. Or you say, good afternoon. Here are three facts about me. International. International diplomacy. Big boy, today you're President Obama. You, the President of the United States of America, number 44. Yes! Time to brush your teeth, Mr. President. Will you please spit, Mr. President? Thank you, Mr. President. What would you like for breakfast this morning, Mr. President? You didn't get French fries the last time for me, so I want French fries today. Whatever you like, Mr. President. Whatever you like. Can I have like, breakfast in? Okay, what else? Eggs. Okay, what else? Bacon. Oh! Yes, I know, but I, yesterday you weren't the president. I'm excited to learn and to experience, and then they're excited for their classmates, and they just, they're, it's amazing, and they're so excited to perform for you as their president. So, welcome to the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> um, we, were, we are going to protect them and keep them safe always. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you may go in. You don't have to go in any type of order. So cool. Hello. So we blurred out the picture of the student that um, represented the, uh, president number 45 uh, because, I mean, although my, my philosophy is not like this man's at all, I don't want our video to reflect something negative on her. It's, it, she's just a six-year-old child doing a project. But aside from that, there were two powerful moments that happened. The first powerful moment was approaching my son and seeing this black boy representing 
the first African-American president in between these two white children who represented number 40, uh, number 43 and number 45, two Republican white men whose ideas of the way the world should work are not the same as mine. And so that was the first powerful moment, coupled with the fact that my daughter represent was 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 standing there as uh, Michelle Obama, um, standing next to her husband, right? That was just cool. And then the second powerful moment was after the presentation was over, the mother of the child who wore the MAGA hat uh, said to me, we should have them take a picture. And my first reaction to her was no. And then I stopped paused and had to think about who I am so then I said no you know what excuse me let's have them take a picture but not only take a picture I want them to slap five like slap hands while they're taking the picture and I did that for this reason I'm a black man who lives in America who knows what it is to live what I guess what most would say the black experience, right? I was born and raised in the heart of the city. I was raised in the ghetto. Although I I was from a house, you know, my mother did the best that she could to protect me from the evils of the world. That didn't mean that they still didn't come to my backyard. I know what it's like to be around family who did drugs, who stole, who slept with other family members, like just you know all the crazy stuff that you see in movies about you know black people living in poverty type and i'm not saying that i was poor at all you know what i'm saying um but you know we didn't live this white privileged life you know what i mean so to the point i know who i am i'm not one of these people who goes and says i when I, when I see a human, I don't see color. No, I see color. I see that I'm black. I see that you're white. I see that you're Hispanic. I see that you're Asian. You know, I see color. But past that, for me being a man of God, I see people's soul. And when I identify with soul, I identify that you are like me, a child of God. That's one thing that we have in common, that you are a child of God. And so because of that thought i agreed to the picture because i said these are two innocent children the thing that separates them the children from us the parents is that the parents have these values and these ideas and these blueprints that were instilled in us from our parents and their parents and their parents and these two like these two kids, they just want to play. They just want to have fun with one another. They they just want to call each other friends. They they just they want to get they want to have a good time in school. You know what I mean? It's not about white, black. They see that they're different colors. I mean, by the time they're 5, 6, like they they see they're a different color that they have a different texture of hair, but their color difference does not in turn translate into I'm better than you for them they get taught that so I agreed to the picture because my mind state was even though I don't agree with 45's ideas I borderline hate them I don't hate the person and I can't because who am I there's times that I've messed up. There's times that I, I've had some 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 rocky ways of doing things, some crazy ideas. But God still loved me. God still honored me. God still forgives me. And so I needed that picture to be taken and I need to look at it because for me, these children are innocent. And the only time that they become less than innocent is when they are tarnished with the ideas of the world and what the world wants them to believe i hope that one day the world does not make that young girl and also that young boy that were sit that were standing next to my child think that because they're white they're better i would hope also that the world does not tarnish my son to the point that he thinks that because he's a brown boy he's less than 
I want him to know that he comes from rich blood and that he comes from a strong heritage and that his people built this country for free and we we were about long suffering and I want him to know that he comes from a legacy of strength and that he is just as deserving as the next person the next race he's just as deserving and so um we tarnish our kids you know so that was not for me to to then you know put judgment on these children and also their parents because i'm like why the freak does this girl have this maga hat on where did y'all get that maga hat you know that no no see past the skin and see the heart see the soul see that these people are our children of god and yeah we may not agree on a lot of things but that doesn't mean i have to be hateful or cruel towards you and judgmental towards you because your your ideas are different than mine and so that's what i had to remind myself now am i going to then pull a kanye and and, and all that no that's <laughs> that's not going to be me but um living in peace living in love that's what i strive to do and that's what i will instill in my children very good. Tom, I voted for you. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> and where's the 46th president of the United States here? Okay, just wanted to check. It's so wonderful but you guys already knew that um, yeah this is amazing when you see your kid every time my son is doing something um, that's like presenting and he's using his skills I'm like ah, I'm open look at his secret service I love it. <laughs> Hi, my name is President Barack Obama. I am the 44th President of the United States of America. I won the Nobel Peace Prize for America needs to do a better job at appreciating African Americans. That's why when you said you were the first African American president, we were proud because before Barack Obama, all of the presidents were white, you know? So America has to do a better job at appreciating us because we built this country for free, you know? Yes. That's true. That's true. So everybody who's white right should be thankful for us. That's very true, man. And we are children because we are playing. 
<laughs> True to form, my girl. Because we, I said that that play can well, set that. that. That would be a different conversation. That We're would be a different about conversation. Brown people making the world better. Right. We made the world better, but no one's. No one's grateful. No one's grateful for it. Yes. No one thinks it's good enough. You're right, son. But that's why, so that's why, that's why mom and dad, when we harp on you sometimes, we want you to be the best you that you can be. Because when you get older, you'll step into a world where your best, sometimes uh, to people, it's not it's not good enough just based on the color of your skin so you want to make sure that you're always smarter you're always faster you're always uh working harder because that's what we have to do you know this is what we have to do sad reality is what we have to do found that new workout girl said yeah i've been concocting some different moves and now i'm like stop son i feel it I'm feeling it. The ads are away. <laughs> Some women rely on one another for support, for encouragement, that sort of thing. You're kind of a loner in the group. You know, like you come on, you do your thing, and that's that. So for that person, it doesn't, you don't need the group, and you don't need, not need the group. So you would really succeed either way because you come in, you pretty much mind your own business, do your thing and get off. Some ladies need to talk in a group. Um, they need to be on Facebook. They need the socialization aspect of it. But you don't really seem to need that. Dad, something happened. What? What happened? I knocked down the... What, son, talk? You knocked down what? Oh, the rag holder. You did what? I knocked down the rag holder. And how did you knock it down? Because I was swinging on my rag. Get it knocked down. And this is funny to you? Like, oh, why are you smiling? No. So... It's knocked down on the ground now. Okay. I will go fix it. Dad, I don't know how to fix this. I try to figure it out, man. Okay. What are you doing? I could have had a spaz out reaction because, well, I didn't I didn't do this, but I broke things at my mom's house, you know. As a kid, so just breathe. He's a boy. He's gonna swing. He's gonna jump. He's gonna break things. He's he may break bones. Who knows? Hopefully he doesn't. But um, I didn't want this to happen. However, he's going to fix it. So I'm gonna go to the store, get some putty, whatever else you do to fix this. I don't know. I have to YouTube it, and then have him fix it. Mom, do my hair And how does I do, Mom? You did wonderful. You did wonderful, right? My, my two hurts. I'll fix it. Ow! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, I got you, girl. It's okay. I got you, girl. Just gotta get your treatment, okay? Because your hair is pretty dry. And it's crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. And we don't want that, right? We want soft and beautiful hair. Yes? Never let your what? I didn't hear you? Never let your what? Right. Crown ball. Say, 
fall. Fall. Good job. Thank you. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey. Thank you. It's another Ali day.